The beautiful thing about Neufant is the same as the, as the beauty that is behind blockchain, and that is that it democratizes things. It lets um, people to participate easier, it lowers the barriers to entry, it, um, it gives access to capital, and through this it gives easier access to create. Um, it supports building, it supports invention, it supports entrepreneurship, and this is what we want to inspire. The main challenge we have is to navigate through this disruption. Um, blockchain is a disruption. It is, a, uh, it is not only a technology, but it's actually a paradigm shift. It changes the way we think about business models, societies. It removes any intermediary from any business that has intermediaries, <laughs> which is most businesses in the world and most um, institutions in the world. Um, the same goes, of course, for, uh, for the funding of projects. So um, the main challenge that we have is to convince the world to, to accept it, that, that the role of certain institutions is going to change. Venture capital firms, for example, um, of course they will continue to exist, but they might not only serve the role of providing capital to companies, but maybe more will move to the consulting role. The platforms to find projects and deals for creators might also need to cease existence because this, the way to find creators to investors is going to be a lot easier one. In the blockchain community, there is this great way of funding blockchain projects, which is called ICO. The way it works is that the project is issuing its tokens, um, which represents some way of participation in the project, and people who want to support it, investors, be it institutional or private, typically members of the crypto community, are simply buying these tokens, and the founder then spends it on the further development. This is a very efficient and very cool process, um, lets you raise a lot of money in a relatively short time, um, is very easy to manage as well, but it, has, uh, it is currently reserved to the blockchain community. What we wanted to do at Neufund is to take it out of this ecosystem and open it up you know, to any technology companies. Uh, there's so many wonderful deep tech companies, um, there's so many great startups in many stages that would be probably very appealing for the crypto community um, because of the tech flair. But currently these startups don't have really a good way or easy way to fundraise in this ICO process. On the other hand, of course, uh, the blockchain community is building great blockchain projects that many traditional, more traditional investors from uh, venture capital or private equity might be interested in, but maybe not yet. They have figured out how to acquire Ether or Bitcoin and be able to participate this way. So what we're doing is we kind of, you know, open some ways, technical ways, and utility, we build utilities for the VCs and PEs and people who simply have fiat currencies to participate in ICOs. And for the companies that are not inherently token models, that are not blockchain native, to simply issue their shares on chain, we call those equity tokens, um, and let you know investors buy these shares through blockchain and this will give them the same rights as shareholders would have.